the mystery of the mystery vending machine. Mystery. One of the things that defines a place is its quirks. All kinds of locations have something kind of special that locals know about or is kind of like a thing. Yelp actually has a category for this. They call them local flavor. We're going to talk about the Capitol Hill mystery vending machine. Dun dun dun. For many years, there was this Coca-Cola vending machine. But what made it really interesting was that there were buttons that said mystery flavor. When you hit mystery flavor, you didn't just get a randomized normal soda. Sometimes Sometimes the things that spit out of this machine were like vintage special edition sodas, the kinds of things that people get very excited about when they come out and then they try them and usually they don't taste that great. They don't stay in our culture. They were always brand name sodas, but often they were rare or sort of different. It really was a little bit of a mystery what you would get out of this machine. Vice did an article on it. Atlas Obscura mentions it. It's all over. No one knew who refilled the vending machine. It was rumored it could even be refilled by ghosts. A haunted vending machine! It was there for years. It got vandalized a lot. By the end of its tenure, you can tell it was getting tagged and like ripped apart. And it got fixed, it got broken, it got fixed, it got put back together. And it suddenly just disappeared, just vanished. I had never put my change into the machine in order to get my own experience with the mystery vending machine. And then one day I was driving down a street in Shoreline and I saw a vending machine that looked like it was working in someone's yard. And I wondered, could this be it. Maybe watching all that detective television over the years had finally resulted in me getting a little bit Veronica Marsy. Maybe I was gonna Nancy Drew my way through this. The mystery of the missing mystery vending machine. Can you see it yet? It is a Coke machine. It is sadly not the same Coke machine. What it's doing here is somewhat mysterious. Well, maybe I was really, really wrong. Holy cow, it is back. Mystery Coke machine. Let's do this thing. Mystery button one. Mystery button two. Will this thing just eat my change? Possibly. Am I okay with that? Because I've just always wanted to find this machine. Pretty much. It looks like it's on. Well, let's see if it needs another quarter. So I'm thinking, oh, there was something wrong. And then we'll do one more for science. Ooh, let's hit the Facebook button and see what happens. Nothing. Classic Facebook. Ooh, and special Dr. Pepper. There is this one. I've literally never seen one of these cans before, but it's kind of a cool color. Like, go Dr. Pepper on your branding. Mystery Coke machine, I did it. Now I'm gonna take a bunch of Instagrams because I'm so excited. I seriously didn't know you guys. I was like, oh, it's not the same one. This can't possibly be it. Yay. Oh my gosh, I so didn't expect that to go the way it did. I'm sitting here and I still can't believe it actually was a mystery vending machine. It seems so improbable that my gut instinct led me here. Should I become a detective? Should I go get my PI license? I am floored that this has actually worked out and delighted. I am going to go tonight and visit it again, see if we can get some spooky footage, bring my bestie, see if he has different luck with the mystery vending machine. The Broadway locksmith and past it is the Queen Sheba and that is pretty much where it used to be. But now we found it. So let's go once again, it's Michael's turn. Changing a baggie. <laughs> Michael's turn. Michael Chains, a Dr. Pepper. Perfect. <laughs> His jam. Oh. And a Pepsi. In a surprise act of unexpected. <laughs> hey Michael, you just got a Pepsi from a Coke machine. <laughs> we grew up in North Carolina, which is where Pepsi is from, so that's weird. I'm gonna try the Facebook button this time because I'm just curious. That did nothing. This one? I also get a Pepsi from you a Coke machine? Pepsi. Go team, two of them are Pepsis at a Coke machine. Look, it's the size of the classic Coke button. Is an actual vending machine that big of a deal? Not really. What's really exciting about this is that the local culture has taken it and made it part of our own. And I think that is what's really cool about these local legends and how we get to share them with people and build community through the joy that is something like a small mystery. If you have heard a piece of local lore in Seattle or elsewhere, I love these kinds of stories. Let me know. Until next time, investigating rock stars, this is Amara currently in Seattle.